Well, with fuel prices once again reaching record highs, America's feeling some gas pains. And that has spurred a growing interest in alternative fuels. Abundant and affordable energy is essential to our economy and our lifestyle which is why work is underway to reduce our nation's dependence on foreign oil while also revitalizing some rural communities. I was there as the first biodiesel production facility in Oklahoma opened in Durant with some celebrity help. Well, surrounded by media, this plant opening received more attention than most. Oh, it's all press. It yeah. isn't press. They're not letting them get there. Yeah, it's state press. In good part for the name on the door, Bio Willie, as in country music legend Willie Nelson. Willie and Morgan are just two good guys that are into environmentally friendly things, earth friendly things, and they want to do something meaningful in their life. And, and they see this as helping farmers and, and helping the environment. Both Nelson and Academy Award winning actor Morgan Freeman sit on the board of directors for Earth Biofuels and have hit the road and the airwaves promoting this homegrown alternative to foreign oil. Because all of them want to see this thing take off and replace our addictions to oil. I know truckers and people who would pay more for biodiesel. Every one of them is proud to spend the money for something that's going to stay here in our country and help our own folks. And while the celebrity may have brought the crowds, it's the prospect of new jobs that excites Durant city leaders. We're excited, you know, to have a, have a company come to rural Oklahoma create right off the bat 75 new jobs and the beauty is that we have three of the top six class one rail carriers right here at the site so we'll be able to bring in the soybean oil and the diesel fuel and rail cars tanker cars on the three class one carriers manufacture the product ship out by rail or by tanker truck so the location is just beautiful oscar winning actor morgan freeman still lives in the small mississippi town he grew up in and says plants like this can remake our rural economy. I'm a supporter of small town USA. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's primarily what we are. Well, at the grand opening reception, state leaders welcomed the plants owners to Oklahoma, saying this is just one more step in our long history of providing energy to the world. Oklahoma's leadership in the energy industry has been based on, on a resource that is not renewable. Biodiesel is to some degree renewable because it uses our agricultural products as well as our petroleum products, puts them together in what I think is a very good marriage and gives us an opportunity to be a leader in the next century in energy just like we have been in Oklahoma's first century. Earth Biofuels is one of a number of renewable fuel companies expanding across our nation's heartland. The company's founder says choosing Oklahoma to open this plant came down to one thing. We came here because of the tax credit. I met with, uh, with Representative James Covey, and he, he said he would do a tax credit if we would commit to come to, to Oklahoma. Uh, about a week later, we had a 20 cent a gallon tax credit to reduce biodiesel in Oklahoma. Which Representative James Covey says is an investment in our future. As we move forward and biodiesel becomes more accepted and more plants go in, what we can actually do is take and provide, make Oklahoma a continued provider of energy. We've always been a great source of energy in our oil and gas industry, and this enhances that. It makes it, it will make it uh, last longer and uh, be a viable product a lot further down the road.